Hey all you wonderful Power Appers, welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to Power Apps Academy. Today we're going to be looking at how to quickly create a uh, loading um, graphic. So a little a little spinner, so when you um, are doing some behind the scenes loading you get a little spinner to tell your uh, app users that something's happening behind the scenes and then uh, when the spinner stops that means the code has stopped running so um, it's quite useful especially if you're doing there there are some tasks that you can do within your app that uh, normally take a bit of time and you want that to be visible to your user so that's what we're going to learn today before we jump into it let's quickly hop over to our partner over at power appify guys if you want some really great business uh, ready templates, Power Apps templates, um, timesheet apps, there's hardware ordering apps, there's HR apps, all sorts of stuff that you can uh, download, install and customize for your business. Uh, really um, cost effective as well and you can just uh, download them and, and uh, use them to learn as well. Uh, just play around with them so head over to power appify and also guys while you're here please smash up the like button and do subscribe to our channel really helps us youtube we put a lot of time and effort into making these videos and youtube algorithm is based on likes and stuff so please do if you're getting value out of this obviously please uh, hit hit up the likes right we're going to hop right over to the live tutorial okay so um First things first, uh, I'm in in the uh, app that we're going to use to uh, for this demo. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a little uh, a little GIF, uh, which is a animated uh, image over here, which we're going to use to show when we're loading something. So uh, if you just go over to loading I/O, you can get some free ones there. This default one that's just come up on the screen that looks pretty good. Um, it's in the wrong color, so obviously you know every business has their own color scheme so um, I'm just gonna go into my favorite color over here I'm just gonna check what it is if I click on the color uh, the fill of this um, this rectangle over here uh, I'm just gonna get the color hex value over there I'm gonna copy that over into this loading IO I'm gonna click on palette over there and I'm going to just copy that over the one there that's gonna bring up the color I'm gonna um I think use this palette there we go i'm going to click on gif is the one that you want and then um i'm going to click on free download uh, uh i think not sure what happened there oh still working okay it's building it you can customize it there's loads of customizations there you know size and speed and all that kind of thing so um uh, for us, uh, we're not going to go into that. You can play around with that yourself. We're just going to figure out how we can implement this into our app. So here is our app. Um, I've got this menu screen. I'm just going to play it here quickly. So create a new work request. That opens the screen. If I click on this new work request, basically it's a, a, a demo form. I can select a team that I want to send a, you know, uh, please cre create the uh, admin account or something anything like that that's just a and I can attach a file but this is this is a separate uh, tutorial that I created you can go back in the videos and check it out um, but uh, we need something that's going to be a little bit uh, more time consuming when you click a button uh, and to do that uh, we can use something called a screenshot which actually takes a little bit of time so if I click on the submit button I've got the code that I'm running as a part of um, that form already but uh, we want to take a take screenshot, take an email, email PDF screenshot. Again, I'll I'll, I'll actually make another video on you know, creating screenshots and uploading them automatically using a flow or Power Automate to SharePoint. But in this one, we're just going to um, uh, just have a look at creating something that's going to take a little bit of time to create. Sorry, jumping around. Um, getting up some code that I can copy over quickly right so it is we want to do the same thing so office 3 so what we're doing is just emailing a screenshot that's going to take um, a little bit of time 365 outlook um, send 
send email version 2 that's the one we want and uh, we want to just get the syntax right we're going to send it to the long logged on user this is using the user function and email not just the email of whoever's logged on um, and we just want to put in you can see at the top it's asking me what to do I'm just going to put in the subject and it's just going to be PDF screenshot and we're going to go into uh, what's next is the body of the email uh, screenshot is attached um, and we want um, to sorry just jump past this guys if you want to get to the, the part where we're actually doing it I'm sorry I'm taking a little bit of time just to set this up this is attachments just to get this working attachments some of you might find this interesting that's why I'm leaving it in table and curly brackets uh, name screenshot.pdf and content bytes content bytes and that's this is the PDF the screenshot part so you just type in PDF and then you can either take a screenshot of your whole screen or, you can, or a container within your screen or whatever you just call it out I'm taking one of my whole screen in this case and it's going to be the the screen I'm on which is this close that out uh, close all the brackets off um, close that squiggly brackets and then oh, and then I think it's one more. Is that it? Ah, uh, something's not right. What is it? Email. Um. Ah, oh, double. Is that right. Okay. Cool. All right. So uh, that's going to take a bit of time. Now we want to introduce our spinner part. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to create an image. Uh, and we're going to insert. We just go and add, add in an image item over there. I'm going to put my little spinner up at the top here. Oh, oh, get the right size there. And for the image, I'm just going to load the one I downloaded that we made from loading.io. I've just uh, downloaded that. I re I relabel I renamed it uh, previously, so this is just the one I've renamed. There we go. We're going to load it. There we go. That's what we wanted. But obviously, we don't want it there all the time, right? We only want it there when we're running some code. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create a variable that we're going to assign to that image. So we go to the image, and we go to the visible property. And we are going to, instead of true, we set it as a variable. So it can whatever the variable's value is will be assigned to the visible um, property. So we're just going to call it um, spinner on. Oh gosh, spinner on. Okay, var spinner on. Uh, all my variables I start with var spinner on. Now the reason it's got a little um, error there is because I haven't defined var spinner. I've just put it in there. So I actually have to call out, and uh, we're going to use something called update context, which is a uh, a variable that is used within a screen. Okay, so um, we only ever want to use this variable within the screen. Otherwise, you can always use set a variable, which is uh, a variable which is available throughout your app. But because we only want it on the screen, uh, we're going to only do it on the screen. Okay, so we've put in our variable name. I'm just going to copy it so I know what it is. And then we are going to go to our submit button where we want it to be visible when you click. Right, and I'm just going to put it right at the top. And we're gonna so make a spinner visible okay and then we're gonna go update context it's just uh, curly brackets in there our variable name I'll paste that in and we want that to be true spinner on true yeah true is yes basically uh, so put that in there don't forget the semicolon at the end and then right at the end of the code block we want to turn it off so right at the end we go i'll just copy and paste that we want to make spinner invisible 
and we're going to call it false. Okay, cool. And what I what I also do is um, just when this when this screen loads, I'll always set that variable up, so it's always there, and it's uh, set as false. So I, I just do that on the on the screen property of this. I'll go into um, on visible. So whenever the screen loads, then we're going to set that variable up so it's um, available. So there we go. Make spinner invisible, so we don't we don't want it we want it invisible by default. So we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so that should be in there. Um, now, when that screen loads, that variable will be initialized, and then when I click on the button, it will make it visible, and then invisible again after the code. So uh, let, let's just sort of go into this app and um, go to the menu. Let me just play it quickly. Let's go back. Main menu, so here's the, the loader. We want to create a work request, loads the screen. We've got this IT, create me an admin account. I could attach a file, I'm not going to do that now. Um, but it's also going to create a screenshot of this and e email it to me. So let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. So it ran it. Oh, gosh, okay. So this says this PDF function is experimental. Okay, so to enable that, let's, oh, sorry, let's go back and fix that quickly we go into settings over here we go down to upcoming features we go into experimental um, and we should find it in here somewhere there we go PDF function turn that on close uh, let's go back to the main menu screen let's try that again quickly create word request um, this is test number two IT, let's go submit, let's see what happens. It's loading. Okay, cool. You can see it's taking a little bit of time to do this, which is exactly what we expected. Great, there we go. Looked like it worked that time. I've got an email. You can see there's my screenshot that we did. If I click on that, there we have it. There's, this, there's my screenshot. Um, excellent, that worked exactly as expected. Right, everyone, hope you found some value in that. Um, as I said, probably one of the next videos I'll do is um, taking screenshots, shot, taking a screenshot PDF and using a flow to automatically update into a SharePoint, a SharePoint library. All right, cool. Hope you found some value. Please remember to smash up the like buttons and do subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye for now.